We're now in an era of higher and more dynamic interest rates. After an extended period of low rates, during which banks radically simplified their portfolios, many are now looking to build out their offerings again. When very little return was available on deposits, it just didn't make sense to offer multiple products with different levels of flexibility, duration, rate. So product ranges were simplified, uh, legacy products were removed from sale. Now, with interest rates back to more normal levels by historical standards, banks are finding they don't have the breadth of offering to cater to the more varied needs of the deposit base. And this needs to be rethought. So what should they do? Well, first step is to gain a deep understanding of deposit behaviour and how this differs across different customer segments. Banks need to segment the market intelligently. Traditional age, income, wealth segmentations uh, still have some role to play, it's still relevant, but on their own they're insufficient. Uh, banks need to understand customer behaviour at a much, much more granular level of detail. Flow of funds models are a great place to start. By understanding the movement of money into, out of and between accounts, banks can start to understand customer behaviour in a much more relevant way, especially when it's supplemented by primary customer research that looks into needs and motivations. Segmentation models built from such insights will set banks on the right path to designing the right products for the right customers. That's a great start, um, but on its own it's not enough. Banks need to go beyond product design if they want to win more deposits. Uh, they need to place equal importance on designing winning propositions. Traditionally, banks have uh, fallen into the trap of being overly product-centric. Uh, product remains vitally important, uh, but there's a need to think more broadly to, to the wider customer proposition. Uh, in looking to grow deposits, banks must expand their focus to the wider goal of helping customers to save. To do so in a way that has the greatest impact, we need to look to the insights drawn from behavioural science. Auto savings propositions, messaging, nudges, rewards, all play a role. But it starts with a simple decision that the bank will ultimately take the decision to actively help customers to save money. Uh, that's not a role many have taken in recent years, although there are many good examples from prior periods, especially in the youth market. The same concept can be applied more broadly in the form of customer financial health. The savings is a great place to start. So, in summary, the organisations that will be the most successful will be those that really understand the diverse needs of their customers and ultimately go out and build products and propositions that deliver against those needs. That will require a more comprehensive set of offerings than has been typical in recent years. It will also need customer engagement strategies to help people save by overcoming inertia and other behaviours that prevent them from achieving their financial goals.